Unfortunately, one of its first victims was a son of Menos, who happened to be visiting Athens, and Menos would not believe that he had been killed by the ball. So he invaded Athens, and only made peace when King Aegeus agreed to send an offering of seven youths and seven maidens every year to be devoured by the Minotaur, a monster half bull and half man, which lived in the labyrinth, a maze which the clever craftsman Daedalus had made. For twenty-seven years the Cretan bull plagued the people of Marathon, and the Athenians regularly sent the tribute of youths and maidens to Menos, until Theseus came to Athens. But meanwhile, Heracles was waiting in Tyrans for Eurystheus to recover from his fright. And when at last he did, the new labor which he had devised for him was to journey north in Thrace and bring back the horses of King Diomedes. Only be sure you tame them before they reach Argolis, insisted Eurystheus, for they are terrible creatures which are fed only on the flesh of men. So Heracles set out, but on his way a strange adventure befell him, when he stopped to visit the young prince Admetus of Phera and Thessaly.